love how poorly we plan these things. Did I hear? Did I hear Titty City? Yeah, Titty City. That's how just, he shoved the man's he shoved, he shoved man's face. It was partner's taste. It was fantastic. Do you know what I figured out? Do you know what I figured out? In my hacking of your stream, I tend to just ruin Jeremy's internet every time I call in. Yeah, it's actually impressive. It's I, I actually yeah. do think it may be me. Oh, I, I, that's a good theory. That's a very good conspiracy theory. It's funny because, like, yeah, Jeremy's internet was great all week, and then Andrew shows up, and it's just... He's offloading Jeremy's internet bandwidth. It's my, it's my diseased fi Fios. My God. I thought it was Kate this entire time. Turns out it's Andrew's area. <laughs> well, you know what, though? Kate is from Jersey, and I, I would never, pa you know, they're I up to no it. good over there. Get it. So, uh, up to no good. So, what, what, what are you up to? I, I haven't seen you. I, you don't call. You don't, you do text. No. You don't call. A busy season. Oh. Wrestling takes a back seat and from September to Jan to like Royal Rumble for me. Forget it. You want to come to Vegas with me in January? For what are you going to? Uh, for what? TNA? TNA. You know, no, thank you. <laughs> wow. You were so close to being like, hmm, and then immediately like, nah. I, I, you know, I, I, I like Vegas. I don't love Vegas. I hear you. And it's such a stressful trip every time I make it out there. It's like total chaos. And the last like four times I've gone to Vegas, there's been a calamity in my life. So I just stopped going to Vegas. I get it. I'm just trying to find a cheap hotel room, man. And I got a couple lock, you know, I got a couple ready, but I just got to pull the trigger. How cheap are you talking? Like hundred bucks. Ugh, yuck. I don't know. This like... is like the Orleans. Like it's nothing like it's nothing awful, awful, but yeah. Or Tahiti. That was the other one. I don't feel like it's good to get like a hotel under a hundred dollars in Vegas. I feel like that, you know, I, I did it for SummerSlam. I did it and I stayed at the embassy suites, which was like just where the sphere was going up. I, no, I would die. I, would that's, die. I don't because I don't spend a lot of time in my hotel room. I'm doing shit all day. I just need a bed that's clean. A fridge mm -hmm. is nice, but Vegas well. is part of all the fridges depending where you stay. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty simple. Listen, I've stayed in much worse. Montreal for Elimination Chamber. Who Tim and I stayed in a hell of a weird place. But uh, you just I'm bougie. I'm a little bougie. Listen, you get me a deal, and I'll go bougie with you. You know where? I, you know what's a really good hotel? The Virgin in um in Vegas, and I, I think it was like a buck ninety seven, and it was a beautiful hotel. The prices are low on it right now, and I could go. And that particular weekend, the TNA picked is like the perfect Vegas weekend because everything's passed. Like New Year's Eve is done. This is like their lowest of the low period. So like it's good time to look, but I got to also find a place that's close to the Palms because there that's just off strip, and everything is like you know, go on the strip or like a 50 minute walk from there. So I'm just trying to be as like courteous to the venue as I can. In well, terms I, of over the weekend, I stayed at a, at a glorious Sheridan in Edison, New Jersey, when I was at the Exotica uh, event. That was let's my talk, weekend. Okay. Let's talk about this Exotica event. Who cares about the rest of this nonsense? Fair. Like, give us some, give us some scoops from the Exotica. Andrews, um, Arian. It, it's, it's something. <laughs> it's something. <laughs> I saw a lot of I saw a lot of a lot of Joel fans, a lot of Jeremy fans, a lot of I believe it. Andrew Wait, Zarian no, fans were there. They were coming that. up. They were talking to me about Fightful and Scoops. Don't at a at a that. bizarre porno convention. No, uh, this all checks know. out. This all makes sense. Uh, it, we're I, big I in the porn community. The, we are. the people watching is 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 the attraction there. That's the main event. The people watching, not the people that are there, like exhibitors it's the um attendees yeah I can, those are the I, ones yeah i can envision that that yeah. would be uh an adventure to watch how, yeah, how some of these people are not from this planet they they came from another galaxy <laughs> i just want i want to post up there for like an hour just an hour and like just count the amount of an hour is not long enough on. i was there 10 yeah. hours a day I know you were, but I'm saying like, I just want to, just to count the sweatpants so I can be like, in one hour, I saw 50,000 pairs of sweatpants walk by. Different people. Um, I, I, a lot of people were very nice and normal. And then you had the X-Men that came from the sewers. Amazing. The Morlocks had risen. I want to go to this and like actually do like interviews and it's just actually, ask get, get a wrestling content it's actually out of a it. lot of fun my wife went i we you know we um 
I'm involved with them in a capacity. So every year, you know, I'll go by and I and I get a hotel. And you know what? I got to tell you, it was like a hundred and twenty dollar a night hotel. Great room. Okay. Okay. Fantastic. If you're ever if you're ever in need of a hotel in a very industrial area in New Jersey, I recommend the Sheridan in Edison. If you're ever in New Jersey, re-question your life. Yes, thank you. Yeah, no, I uh, I had a very long week, and yesterday I went to the Rangers game. Did they win? Yes, they did, four to one. Yeah, they're playing really well right now. They're playing great. Really well. Yeah. Listen, and injuries. They're still playing well. That that building has to make money because uh, the the sphere ain't. Yeah, and they want to move that building for some nonsense for cock the reason. I don't understand. It's absurd to me that they want to move the garden. But they just didn't it just like across the street again or some stuff. It's it's been moved three times before. I think this is like the fourth one. But you're you're at Penn Station. You want to be eco friendly, right? You want to be environmentally conscious. You're at the hub for all travel. For the tri state, Wait. why would you? Why would you want to move it? Hold on, you went to the Rangers yesterday. Yesterday, yes. Okay, why didn't you go to Hollywood Fights and hang out with Nikon, Dana White, and Triple H? I I couldn't hear you. Why didn't you go to Hollywood Fights and hang out with Nikon, Triple H, and uh... you know, I my I did I wasn't invited this time. Wow. TKO comes to town and you See, are that's no what happens. On the good yeah. list. It's a TKO problem. You know, when it was WWE, I got all these invites and now all of a sudden I'm not good for those Endeavor boys. But they also, they saw that you're pally pals with Mike Johnson now and they're like, we don't need that. So we're just going to, that's what it is. We'll, we'll I think that's what it is. Yeah, that's right. I get it, man. I yeah. get it. What's, I, uh, somebody did come over to me and start accosting me about Dave Meltzer the other day, randomly. Wait, at the Exotica show? No, no. <laughs> That's the, that it would have been it would have made more sense at Exotica. This was yeah. randomly. I was at a restaurant. Some guy I'm sitting at a bar, we're talking about wrestling, and he's like, Oh, I know you. He's like, So you work for that Dave Meltzer? And I'm like, I don't know who that guy is. I don't know who you're talking about. And they're like, Yeah, yeah, wrestling observer. I'm like, no, I don't know what you're talking about. You gotta just put the hood up and keep walking and don't even I know you were sitting in this case, but you're just like, nope, not I, here. I gotta tell you, like I'm wired really weird. Like uh, listen, I'm 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 I, I think I'm a good person. I'm nice to everybody. But there are moments I'm like, I'm contemplating, I'm like, am I gonna have to fight this guy now? Like, is this is it gonna turn into that? Like, am I you know, and sometimes like I'm a little short fused. And I'm like, I'm gonna get into a fight with this lunatic screaming at me about Dave Meltzer, and I'm gonna have to defend his honor now. It's the New Yorker in you. It's it comes out really fast. It's that unbelievable. Dave Melzer. <laughs> that Dave Melzer. 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 It's David Belzer's cousin. You know where it was? I'll tell you exactly where it was. It was um a, a right in front of this bar on 38th and 7th called the Westbury. Have I been there? Uh with you? <laughs> Big Wait, big Meltzer was? fans at the No, West we Bay. went to I think we went to Blaggards. I think we went to like a dive that's right next door, actually. A, a dive. The, where we went wasn't exactly a dive, pal. Where did we go? I don't remember, but it was it was fairly nice. Uh, you me and Jim. You me and Jim. Yeah, you remember Jim. Jim and Ika? Jim? Who? Oh, oh yes, 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 yes. Riveting. I got very confused for a second. Uh <laughs> no, I think we went to uh Stout. Oh, okay. Sure. I'll, I'll yeah. look it up later and, and remind myself. I haven't been to New York in a little while now, so I should probably get back eventually. Yeah, I. it's it's a lot of fun. That, that gym. gym. Both that gym and, yeah, that gym. That gym. It all works. Not Jim Jordan, though. Jim Johnson. Jim Johnson. It is. That's the guy. He's the yeah, guy Mike you Mike Johnson's want to brother. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you think he ever gets that? Uh, I feel whatever. It's not even a thing. Did anyone else, by the way, get really confused when Mike Johnson was in, was was the Speaker of the House, and all of a sudden wrestling fans were just like, "Wait, who?" PWI. Uh, I, I have a friend, uh, and his and his last name is Nunez, and when and everybody would tweet at him because his name is like Nunez, just like N U N E S, and they thought it was the, a politician, and he would get all these like hate messages on Twitter constantly. And it was just like he worked at a radio station or a TV station. That's how it goes, though. That's yeah. Nunez sending you a message right now. It is. I heard what you're I, saying. I, I can't wait till there's another Zarian out there that's heinous. And I start getting that. 
but they, or they start getting it and they think it's me. <laughs> the best is the John Jones, the 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 white like gamer who gets yes, all the yeah, John yeah, Jones yeah, hate from the I'm UFC not, fighter. Jones. It's the best. That dude rules too. Fantastic. He he learned how to swerve into that very early. Oh, he did. Good, yeah. good on him. He's great. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness he's been uh, dealing with that shit for like a, over a decade now easy. too yes easily over a decade oh my god zarian uh, yes, you, got any, you got any scoops for us before you go um, on your thing? do i have any scoops for you guys uh let's see uh what did i post the other day that that triggered like half a twitter like you ended up texting me about the world's end collision thing. Yeah, and I go, I go, these fucking people. Oh, can I curse? I'm sorry. No, it was 17 yeah. and a half minutes in. You're good. All right. Yeah, I was cursing three minutes in. Okay, sorry. I, I tried not to. Uh, I was yeah. like, these fucking people are deranged. I'm like, why are you so upset? It, well, it, what happened was it turned into, um, like, I posted that, and everybody's like, oh, that's it. The show's canceled. And I was like, no. WBD is pretty committed to it. And then somebody, I think, you know what it was? Um, I forgot the account. Somebody had posted that uh, WBD is interested in WWE. Right. And I was like, I don't think that's happening. You know, like I, I made like a comment and I go nonsense or something. And maybe, maybe it wasn't that. I forgot what it was. But it triggered all these people to like, how do you know? You're just making it up. I'm like, I, I don't, you think I want to argue with people? Uh, you think I want to sit there and make stuff up and argue with people on the internet for nothing? Maybe. Maybe you got nothing better to do. Andrew. Maybe I got nothing better to do. And I'm like, all I did was post that it's not airing the week of World's End. That's it. I think people just love to just compact everything into one into one news item. They see the ratings for Collision were down this week, so they think that it's doom and gloom. And then you report that a, a, a Collision in a month and a half is not happening because of a scheduling conflict. And people just assume that, no, no, point, point A to point B is actually going to go point Z instead. Yeah. Oh, you know what it was? It was, a, um, it was a post saying that they're hearing that WBD's in talks to bring Raw to TNT or TBS. Right. That story. Oh, that one. And listen, I I will say I would be there would have to be such a a, a devastating moment in the relationship of WBD and AEW for that to happen. For many reasons. Joel knows I've spoken to Joel about this. I think I've spoken to Jeremy about this. I don't know. That'd be devastating. Maybe, maybe I did. I think I did. I think I <laughs> they'd, told have to, they'd have to hire Ric Flair to a multi. Wait a minute. Yeah, yeah. They have to. <laughs> it would have to happen. No, I mean, listen. And also, who cares, right? Like, if you, like, I cover this for fun. We talk about this all the time. We cover this because it's fun and we enjoy it. But if you're the viewer, if you're the fan, why does it matter? Well, they're not fans. That's the thing. Not. No, it's hate watching. And that that's a whole separate subgenre. There are people that despise something and they will constantly talk about it and talk about how they despise it. I don't I can't even rationally justify that thought process. We we talked about this on Wednesday when there was rumors about when NXT is going to run their stand and deliver show. And then it turned out they're not even going to run it on the Thursday that was being rumored. It's going to be Saturday. But the point was, we were talking about WrestleMania week and how people kind of burn themselves out just to go see every single show that they can. And then as a result, like we get into these situations where people are like, I got to watch MLW. I got to watch NWA. I got to watch Raw. I got to watch SmackDown. I got to watch Dynamite. I got to watch Collision. And they just burn themselves out on wrestling instead of picking and choosing and being okay with it. And this is kind of, yeah, it's the catalyst of that is just pick it and enjoy it. I, I listen, it's like the TNA hate, right? You love TNA. I mean, you are a TNA. Yes, I am. It's been, I, I've had my on and off stints with Impact yeah. and TNA. You're yes. an Impact and you're a TNA and that's fine. And you're also a Fightful and that's, that's great. Ugh, the worst. The worst. <laughs> I, I love Fightful. I, I have to tell you, I, I'm sneaking in slowly. I, I, I'm, I'm breaking my contract with the Wrestling Observer. <laughs> This is I'm in void of my my deal with them, and I'm slowly sneaking in, little by little. You're not supposed to say that part out loud, Zarian. But if you say it out loud, then it's not a big deal because you say it like uh, a wink and a smile. You know, you do one of the like I'm just sneaking in, guys. How, how do you get mad at this face? 
fair yeah. honestly very fair you know, i i one time i i, I got to run but i effed up so bad on a deal that i was finishing it was my deal i had to do this thing it was for a company that had hired me and i just effed up i i don't know how i did it i thought i sent an agreement whatever and the deal fell apart okay it was a big money deal <laughs> and I, i'm like they like scolding me you know the old man that owns that company is yelling at me and i look he, he's like and then he's like are you gonna say anything i'm like listen i effed up but can you get mad at this face <laughs> what was and the response to that he laughed <laughs> that's, that's like that's the adult equivalent of you saying ain't i a stinker <laughs> ain't i a stinker hey is rich gonna be on the show with you live in studio or is rich he is not live in studio because can i show you the disaster here oh that's right we saw this last time the tv all over the place yeah I, yeah I have to i i still have to i'm clearing out the whole studio so i have to redo this whole thing and it's just a nightmare tell tell rich i give him kisses from afar he loves your kisses i love giving them to him he's fantastic mm -hmm. so are you you're okay too. thank you I oh, my rich they're waiting for me i gotta go Get out of Hi, here. Zarian. Thank, Thank you. you. See ya.